with the University of Glasgow, we took two of their buildings and um, that they're brand new buildings and we've created a full uh, digital twin, live operational digital twin of those buildings. We've also created a number of digital twins of existing buildings on the campus to show how it can also be applied to existing buildings of different types and scales. So buildings that might not have any control and they're only controlled by the user to buildings that might be controlled by the energy manager to buildings that we can fully automate um, via their BMS system. Digital Twin is an accurate and a true virtual representation of the real building. So it's based on the actual physics of the building, its envelope, its systems, the related heat and energy flows, and that's augmented by the real data to replace any of the design assumptions. So in this way, the IS Digital Twin, it virtually acts like the real building does and in real time. So that allows you to gain insights into how the building's performing. You can compare it against an ideal building to identify where it's underperforming. You can identify any faults that might be happening. You can simulate interventions before you carry them out to check that they'll have the desired impact you expect them to have. And by simulating the intervention before you carry it out, you can also de-risk your investment because you have that insurance that the intervention will have the desired impact. You've tested it in that virtual world before you've actually carried it out. There's a number of benefits to having a digital twin, especially within an energy management con uh, context. And I would say the key thing for me personally as an energy manager is that you can see a number of systems layered over the top of each other at one point in time. So historically, energy management has been taking bits of information and understanding how they all fit together. The digital twin does that for you. Analysis of what's happening within the building can take a wee while. The digital twin does all that instantaneously. Energy management for a long time was almost like a black art where bits of information appeared from different sources and they were overlaid together to produce an answer that nobody really, like out with the energy management community could almost understand. A digital twin makes everything very visual and very easy for everybody to understand and usable. And so and one of the main benefits from that is that rather than just having one person look at information and data, you have lots of people looking at information and data because it is so easy to understand. We expect, as you would for a digital twin, to create energy savings. If you understand where energy is consumed within a building, very basics of energy management, you can then do something about it. It can absolutely be used as a model for other campus groups and it doesn't even need to be university to be campus groups either. I mean the idea of a digital twin is replicable throughout the entire construction industry or building industry and it doesn't matter whether you manage university buildings or hospital buildings or shopping centres. I mean these types of buildings all align themselves very well to digital twinning. If we think about it, by the time we're looking to get to net zero trajectories of, of what people, the targets that people are setting, currently 80% of the buildings that are, 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 are built are going to still be here. So the new buildings and the new construction that we're getting is one thing, but we have to understand how our older buildings and our current building stock work. Mm -hmm.